I'm Chef Kelly, and this is what I do. Sour Chef Kelly from Pure Food to You and Royal Oak showed us how to make some finger foods for Valentine's Day. This hour we're getting more romantic with a Valentine's Day picnic. So, my friends at home, put your imagination caps on. Imagine that we are actually on the ground, picnic style, cross-legged sitting here with some beautiful stuff. You got yourself the table cover. Let's start with the most important element, Chef, when it comes to setting the mood on the table or the picnic table. All right. Well, I like the idea of putting it on the on the floor. You know, putting out a really nice quilt, a little tablecloth. That's right. a great idea. Sitting in Indian style, maybe some pillows. You know, picking a room in your house that you don't usually eat in. You know, maybe it's like just a cute little coffee table, like on the big fluffy couch. You know, and setting right. a tablecloth there. So I think like taking the food out of the kitchen or the dining room is a good start to doing something different. I love the idea of the picnic on the floor. Very good. Well, right. You're talking about a picnic, you know, there make it romantic. You sit on the floor, but you, know, you, you need the right elements. You, you need, need the right elements. So this is kind of like a fun tablecloth. tablecloth, but at home you could use, I have people that just put down like a nice clean white sheet. You know, of course, we've all heard, um, yeah, you can have picnics anywhere. You can have a picnic in the bedroom if you want. I say right. go outside. It it's grateful. Heat embrace. things up. Miss, <laughs> who doesn't embrace like the, winter, the winter weather. Oh, right. cold, right. Miss Dina. All right. <laughs> Outside picnic sounds great. Okay, so some things you want to remember, different elements for your picnic. I think flowers are really important. I mean, whoever says they don't want to get flowers, I think they're lying. My good friends at um, Weber's Florist did these for us, and actually my... Even very good friend, Mr. A, he let me borrow these. They're going to his party tonight. So. Whoever said they don't want marshmallow hearts in their flowers was kidding, yeah, too, like right? So crazy. Right? Right? I was like, never think of it. Anyone I so. love the red rocks, like the fish tank rocks. <laughs> you know what? These are fish tank rocks. Mm -hmm. It's kind of clever, huh? So good job, Weber's. Um, all right, so we have some flowers, and then, of course, you want to set the tone with, like, your beverages. Right. You know, it doesn't always have to be alcohol, like... You know, for me, it would certainly be red wine, mm -hmm. but you know, everybody drinks, so <laughs> you're laughing, Dean. I'm thinking there's you're some red wine. I know. Out there who may say, um, well, I don't do that. A really nice I pomegranate, hear. like a really fun sparkling water mm -hmm. with some ice, you know, some fun fruit garnishes. Maybe like, a, remember in the holidays we did like the hot cocoa bar? Mm -hmm. Like, wouldn't that be fun with like some fun things on it? So. Well, Dina will be outside in, in her home, so of course, I, hot chocolate. <laughs> a hot we'll chocolate have a would Valentine's be great Day in the front yard. Outside. And and you would keep in the front yard. A remote for that. A remote for that. All right. So moving right along with our picnic. So now let's just really quickly go over the hors d'oeuvres, because I think we kind of got a little rushed at the end. We have our chicken satays, which you could or could not marinate. You could buy like a pre-done sauce and just kind of whip them up with that. And for, and for those who weren't with us when she first did this, she was talking about finger food, right? That's kind of more romantic yeah. than... things you eat with your with hands. a plate and a fork. You, know, you can do it on a finger stick. Finger food. And then I think Dina suggested that you could feed each other and yada, yada. All right, so now what's more important than Valentine's dessert? I think nothing. I think you could probably just even have dessert. That's what I'm here for, Chef Kelly. Let's get to All it. Right. Okay. Okay. So here is our um, our chocolate fondue, and I made that with. Uh, it's on their website. It's eight ounces of chopped chocolate. You could use dark, semi-sweet. I kind of am a dark chocolate girl myself, and then it calls for a cup of um, coconut milk. Mm. It's kind of nice. Like it's sort of like a ganache with coconut milk. Kind of gives you a little fun tropical flavor. And we should mention the dark chocolate. Dina was just talking about this in Health Works. Yes. The dark chocolate's really good for you. It's yeah. really good. Not well, the milk chocolate, the dark chocolate. And Kelly knows this, but it's well, the milk chocolate is mostly fat and sugar. Correct. Which is delicious. Um, which does right. make it taste good, but the dark chocolate is what you get the, the cacao. Yeah. Antioxidants. Yeah. And, and I even read an article um, just yesterday, Dina, that it's really good for wrinkles. There you go. Really? You don't have to worry yeah. about that. Dark chocolate wrinkles. All right. I keep dessert. drinking the green tea. I'm dessert, you guys. It's away. very important. <laughs> green okay. tea I drink for the wrinkles. So here we go. We have our um, little fondue. Again, we could like use little picks for this. We could just get chocolate on our hands, whatever you want. And then we have our uh, angel food cake that I just kind of cut up. I think that's kind of something fun to dip in chocolate. And here's some of the other things you can dip in chocolate. We have pineapple. You know, our big luscious stem berries. Chocolate you know, pear. yeah, the chocolate. Just dip right in chocolate. We could dip our pound cake. There's some um, little cookies, little brownies, things like that. And voila. And Chef, this is a good alternative to like a lot of people who may, may not be able to eat out because it, it's a little pricey right now. So maybe they want to just go to the grocery store and do this at home. It's a great way to cut some costs too. You know what, even besides cutting costs, 
Now, me personally, I think I'd rather have my husband like whip up something like this for me, then go out to then, a restaurant. Then produce a gift certificate. Yeah. <laughs> then produce, well, I mean, right. you can go out to dinner all the time and not to say that right. it's not special, but like this is really special. Like, and you can't really sit on the floor this. at a restaurant. You, you just can't floor. sit on the floor at a restaurant. Well, Chef Kelly, some restaurants you can. Well, it depends on the type. Right. You're right about that. Some Ethiopian restaurants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Ethiopian restaurants. Yeah, restaurant yeah, down I love that town. I know that's And you also eat with your hands there, too. Yes, everything's with your hands in the bread. That's a different So go out for Ethiopian for Valentine's Day or do what Chef Kelly said. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, you can find all of this on myfoxdetroit.com.